Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here. I'm a registered EEG technologist, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a EEG where the patient has two pseudo seizures, also known as psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. Now, let's get into the EEG. Now, this is a 35-year-old man with high blood pressure, alcohol abuse, and presenting with seizures. Now, alcohol abuse, important to take note of because some patients who are withdrawing from alcohol, they could be having epileptic seizures, and that's really dangerous. So, makes sense why they're ordering this EEG. The patient's presenting with seizures, simple enough. Now, the medications, they're on Dilantin, which is related to epilepsy, and also Ativan, which is related to epilepsy. Ativan can create some faster frequencies on the record over 12 hertz. Beta waves, the fastest of frequencies. Alpha waves are 8 to 12. That's what their posterior dominant rhythm is. That's what you look at first. What is the dominant frequency in the back of the head when the patient's eyes are closed and relaxed? In this case, the doctor says it is between 9 and 10 which we can confirm here. This is the right side of the back of the head. That looks like between about nine waves. Same thing on the left side. They're a little bit uh, slightly lower amplitude, but within normal limits. And there are no abnormal discharges. So let's scroll through the EEG and see if we can find the two pseudo seizures that the patient has. Now this is just muscle artifact that's just the patient being a little tense maybe moving around a little bit scroll through a little faster these are eye movements right there keep scrolling scrolling now this looks interesting what is this rhythmic buildup here in the back of the head at 01 now this is from the patient shaking their head back and forth if you had a video which you usually will you'll be able to see in line with the video, the patient shaking their head. This is the beginning of the first psychogenic non-epileptic seizure. Now, this, the head shaking turns into essentially full body shaking here, and it's really just artifact. No spike and wave discharges, no epileptic discharges. If you want to reduce the muscle a little bit to just kind of see through, it, it's not perfect because there's not much good data to go off of here because it's so messy from the patient uh, shaking all over the place, but you can tell there's no spike and wave discharges and it's just this shaking in the back of the head, hitting the pillow and making it look all wonky like this. Uh, and right after the event, well, actually let's back up. During the event, you want to give the patient a code word blue dog. I feel like that's a famous one. Blue dog, red or pink truck. You could do pink elephant, whatever you want, guys. Just give them a random code word. And then afterwards, ask them, ask the patient if they remember the code word that you told them to remember during their event. Code word not remembered. Or if they remember it, then you can make note of that as well. Also ask the patient uh, orientation questions after their event, if they know where they are, if, <laughs> if they know their basic name, if they know their birthday, make sure they're, they're uh, test their orientation so the doctor can see that on the record as well. And, but a main thing is right after this event, another way you can tell it's non-epileptic is that there is no immediate slowing right after the event. So right after the event, it essentially goes right back to how it normally was, about nine waves per second. And the, the EEG just doesn't skip a beat. Now, a lot of the time, if it was an epileptic seizure with epileptic discharges, afterwards you're gonna see slower waves like delta theta slowing after immediately after the seizure now on this you don't see that now a way to confirm this is looking at the trends the start of the event was around here and before the event 
we had a not about nine hertz that yellow dot here is that that's what that's representing and also this faint little line here that is showing that right after the event there is a immediate return to the nine hertz posterior dominant rhythm now if we go on if you're wondering what this is this we can just click there and let's see what this is this shows that it is just essentially a bunch of artifacts a little eye movement plus muscle it can show up on the trend sometimes and now we go over here this looks interesting if we click to here let's see where it takes us to it takes us to oh it looks like that head shaking stuff again let's go back just a little bit to the start of the second psychogenic non-epileptic seizure or pseudo seizure now this looks kind of dangerous right a little spiky now uh, it's just really just the back of the head just banging against the pillow now it's a little hard to differentiate in the beginning but once you see stuff like this enough you'll know that's just that's just head shaking guys you'll know it after you see it enough now this is just another repetition to show you guys that this is what a psychogenic non-epileptic seizure can look like and here we go right afterwards it's returned right back to normal no after event slowing nice little pdr back to normal and that's pretty much it for this record guys we are able to detect two psychogenic non-epileptic seizures also called pseudo seizures and we were able to see this and we would have been able to report this to the doctor marked it up for them and showed that you captured two psychogenic non-epileptic events and you did your job as an EEG tech or if you're a doctor reading this maybe this will help you guys uh read your EEGs because not every neurologist reads EEGs I, I've seen about probably about half of them do so I'm here to help anyone who's interested in this subject it is my passion guys if you like this video hit the like button I appreciate it follow me for more subscribe I love you guys and I'll see you all on the next video